Adam, let's go to lunch at a restaurant. Okay. This is the best restaurant that I know of in the area. Great. It looks beautiful. I hope the food tastes good, too. Yes, the food tastes great, too. Only the best for you. The food smells great. What would you like to eat? I would like to have some pork chops and mixed vegetables. Adam, we can't eat pork. It's forbidden. Oh, well, I'll have some chicken then. Okay, look at the menu to see if you wanted anything else with that. Okay, I'll have some french fries too. I think I'll have what you're having. The food was delicious. I'd like a beer now. Adam, we can't drink any alcohol or intoxicants of any kind. Does that include drugs? What do you mean? Prescription drugs? No, I mean drugs like... Cocaine and marijuana? No, those are forms of intoxicants. What do I do now? I was selling drugs before I became a Muslim until now. You have to stop selling drugs and ask Allah to provide you with a lawful form of income. Okay. I will stop. I want to be a good Muslim. I want Allah to be pleased with me, and I want to go to paradise. Okay. So, what will you have to drink? Uh, I'll have an apple juice. That's okay to drink, right? Yes, it's okay now. But they even make alcohol out of fruits. <laughs> I'll, I'll drink it now, quickly, before it turns into alcohol. That's a good idea. I'm happy to see that you are very obedient to Allah. That's how I am. When I commit myself to something, I try to be true to it. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you, Ahmed. Walaikum assalam. Peace be unto you too. We say in Arabic, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Ahmed. Wa alaikum assalam. It's great to see the two of you again. I just took our new brother out to lunch. That's great. What were you two talking about? Below was telling me that intoxicants are unlawful in Islam. Yes, they are unlawful. We also avoid all things that are harmful to our bodies. Allah and His Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us about the importance of eating and drinking that which is lawful. In fact, the Prophet Muhammad told us about a man who was supplicating by raising his hands in the air but his food was unlawful, his drink was unlawful, and his clothing was unlawful. These things prevented his prayers from being answered. Well, I'm glad that I stopped drinking alcohol, stopped eating pork, and stopped selling drugs. I need my prayers answered. Yes, and by pleasing Allah, you will enter paradise too, inshallah. Will Allah punish me for all of the years that I sold drugs, drank alcohol, and ate pork? No, Adam. Allah forgives everyone their past sins that were committed before they became a Muslim, and even after becoming a Muslim. The doors of repentance and forgiveness are still open until you die or the sun rises from the west. The sun will rise from the west? Yes. 
That is one of the major signs of the Day of Judgment. I'm glad you came here. I learned so much today about how to be a better Muslim. Adam, intoxicants are very bad. They also cause a person to lose their self-control. So, an intoxicated person will do whatever they desire to do and whatever the devil whispers to him or her to do. That's why being intoxicated causes people to fall into many other unlawful actions, as well as after taking drugs or drinking alcohol. Well, you're right. That is so true and makes so much sense why Allah has forbidden it. Yes, Islam encourages self-control, which is a part of what we call in Islam a taqwa. We need this in order to enter paradise. I want that. I want that too. Fasting is one of the best ways to get it. And Ramadan is our month of fasting. I wrote a song about not taking drugs. Can I hear it? I want to hear it too. Okay. Islam. 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 Islam.